Hi, my gorgeous scrumptious, uh, darling, uh, um, sparkly. Okay, I ran out of words, Libra. You know why I ran out of words? Because we are actually in the Temple of the Goddess Aphrodite. Uh, and the museum staff here very kindly allowed me to do all this drama here in the ruins. Uh, we don't want to overstay our welcome, so we're going to try and keep these videos as short as possible. We're going to uh, do some spiritual messages straight from the source, straight from the goddess. Uh, and yeah, I apologize for the weird angles. This is kind of what we're working with at the moment. This is all I got for you, okay? This is all I got. Uh, but this is such a sacred place. I do feel the energy here. The goddess is here. This is my mommy, okay? I'm going to call myself your mommy. This is my mommy here. Uh, the goddess Aphrodite, known by so many other names. Um... Please show me goddess aphrodite what is happening for my gorgeous libra so we're going to look at your general spiritual love messages in terms of challenges what's going for you what's going against you and what to expect in terms of advice please tell me the challenge also libra welcome to blue angel love tarot where no no location set is too difficult to, <laughs> to organize baby uh with love and gratitude you know what love and gratitude if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you um i see baby give me a kiss mm, a little bit from afar it's a little awkward but i think you know you want to see the ruins right uh baby what else can i tell you yeah like with love and gratitude i've just been so lucky to have all these locations open up to me and this museum is such a gem it's uh, a little bit off to the um uh, from like the main city in Paphos and it, it's just not crowded with tourists so I'm kind of this is it like I think it's just me today and you Boudou and the goddess Aphrodite uh so it's just it's, it's an amazing the landscape is amazing everything is amazing about it uh, I'll be uh, posting pictures and videos on my Instagram so follow Blue Angel Tarot if you're on Instagram that would be awesome or you can just follow the Emanuela Rose it's my uh, personal one uh okay anyways let's get into you and let's get into what the goddess Aphrodite has to say to you uh three of wands this is your challenge yeah it's time to move on from something big though libra it is time to move on whether it's time to move on from an old love or an expectation of love that is up to you you know you know your story best baby i'm still just a random bimbo on the internet you know take everything i say with a grain of salt i mean here i am traipsing through the mediterranean finding museums to, to film in oh, come on okay there's a breeze i apologize if the camera is moving libra it's time to move on from an older version of yourself and also from a specific person who brings that version out. could be a toxic relationship that needs to be let go. It could even be for some of you, the relationship is finished, but you're still in some kind of a toxic bind with an ex who is still a part of your life. You're finding it difficult to just exercise them out of your life. You know, be gone, okay? Just say be gone and they need to be gone. I feel like it's time uh, for your own well-being and it's just time to move on with yourself. It's time for a new phase of your life, time for a little change transformation baby um you know <sighs> sail those ships you know get on the ship uh, go do that thing go go find that museum in paphos and in cyprus and make videos in it you know like just go uh the world belongs to the brave so yeah it is time to move on it's time to reinvent yourself on some level and i think that's going to help you but that's a challenge you know a challenge is a good thing challenges are milestones or targets or things that we can look forward to so i'm not saying something that you don't know how to do um i'm just saying it's something that's going to be coming up for you as a challenge a, a reinvention is a necessary in uh you know in the coming months and years but it's going to this is going to be really good for you another stage of life uh whatever that means to you and your particular circumstances what's going for you libra is being yourself <laughs> it's because you're scrumptious the king of swords so that's libra energy what's going for you is that you're just freaking amazing all right the goddess aphrodite is like you're just libra you're mine you know uh you're connected to venus you're connected to this energy uh and uh you're connected to you're just connected to beauty. So I think, you know, the goddess Aphrodite is appreciating that today. Thank you, goddess Aphrodite. Hail Aphrodite. Um, and Pupu, I, you know, look, uh, she's kind of also saying it's good that you uh, that you don't let your heart rule your entire life. Uh, you have a beautiful, lovely, lovely heart. It is very generous and beautiful and gorgeousness. But at the same time, your head is screwed firmly onto your shoulders. And that is the kind of Libra energy I'm all about. Uh, I know my I know my way around Libras. I had a lot of Libras in my life. Girl, I always have a lot of Libras around me. Libras are meant to be like not the best for Scorpio, and sometimes that checks out. But I also have Libra in my chart, so I'm like my own kind of secret sabotage enemy, whatever. But I'm also my best friend because Libra and Scorpio are friends. But they can have like a lot of tension because of the history between them, you know. 
history between Scorpio and Libra in the sky can be complicated. I was going to Scorpio Sun and Rising. But in Vedic astrology, I'm, I'm a Libra. So it's like, I mean, who even knows? Um, but yeah, I really vibe with the Libra energy. And I feel like the goddess is vibing with it too. You know, she's really coming through for us. And I think she's appreciating, you know, that I do vibe with the Libras. So thank you, goddess. The, the sun here is telling me in terms of your future, things will things will just like, I mean, look, it's the sun. We're in the sun. Things are just going to come up amazing for you, okay? You're, you're going to have the future that you're hoping for. Uh, if you have ambitions at work, in terms of your love life, in terms of having babies, in terms of having a family, if you want to be an influencer, if you want to be just, uh, if you want to live in the ruins, somewhere in Cyprus, away from uh, society, uh, it, it shall be yours, okay? Whatever your wish is, it shall be yours. That asker, you know, whatever you want is going to be yours. And the goddess is saying, don't worry about it. The, the, the journey to it may not have been easy and it's been challenging, sure, but that doesn't mean that you can't, you know, make it happen for yourself, baby. Uh, so let's see what's coming through. Oops, in terms of, oh my gosh, in terms of advice, it's saying, look, the goddess Aphrodite is saying, don't worry so much, you know, don't worry so much. You have more friends than you think, the Six of Pentacles. Uh, also, if you're worried about money right now and that's influencing your love life or uh, you're uh, worried about, um, you know, someone maybe like an ex who owes you money, that money will be repaid, the bill. The money will be repaid. And also, you know, I know you give a lot in your relationships. Uh, and the goddess Aphrodite is saying a relationship, a new relationship will, will come where that person will give on to you just as much as you give on to them, baby. It's a beautiful energy. A new relationship is coming for you uh, if you're looking for a new relationship. And if you are already in a relationship that you want to fix or in a connection you want to be fixing, I feel like the goddess is interceding on your, uh, like in, you know, in, in your name to make the situation better. However, she will not fix something that is not fixable and something that is not good for you. So when you also always remember with the gods too, if, you know, if you work with gods or angels, especially with the old gods though, I would say, especially with the goddess, her uh, darker aspects, which Aphrodite, by the way, can be as well. Um, when you work with the old goddess, I would not ask her for, you know, things that you really don't need or want, like, you know, cast off bitches, like toxic people, people who are obviously narcissists and toxic, don't ask her for that because she's not going to give it to you. Uh, she's not stupid. Uh, but, but she's going to, she might give you a lesson about it or she might give you, uh, you know, some advice regarding it in the form of a messenger or in the form of that person doing something horrible to you to show you who, who they truly are. So, you know, just be careful when you work with the, this is just my advice. And look, everyone has their own like way of working with the goddess, but I would just say that don't ask the goddess, the old goddess for some douche flute to come back. Cause like that, there's going to be such a lesson in that coming through it. Uh, you know, ask for the best of the best, then the goddess will grant. She will not grant you crumbs from somebody else's table she will not grant you somebody else's person uh she will she's not going to grant you any of that she's only going to going to grant you the highest order of things and the things that are not the highest order of things will be taken away <sighs> okay that was my preachy little i don't know why i'm like i'm speaking i'm like the spokesperson for the old goddess all of a sudden the ace uh the ace of pentacles i'm sorry i've been in a very weird mood i've been channeling a lot uh recently libra like the channelings are very very strong so do i do apologize the ace uh the ace of pentacles uh final advice here you know take things people want to give you thanks okay take them somebody wants to help you accept the help if somebody wants to love you accept the love someone wants to give you money accept accept the money somebody wants to give you a raise you might be uh you might be not valuing valuing yourself you need to expect more from relationships as well to feel the next one the one that she is sending you uh and it's not, look it's not to say if you want some satisfaction about an ex whatever you want to hear them say i'm sorry sure you can have that but just don't ask for that person to come back because the goddess will not grant dumb stuff to people okay it's like if a child wants mattress she's not going to give the child mattress <laughs> uh, i'm just talking you know i'm just saying um not judging anyone or anything like that but it's just like you know you you shouldn't you know, your, your parent wouldn't grant that to you a, a mommy who loves you would not give you the toxic thing that you just you know that just uh left your life would she anyways <laughs> so uh but the goddess is also saying you know accept the reverence accept the respect accept the love when people come people have come in okay in the past where you didn't 
think that you deserve them or maybe there are people that you didn't even like do a play for oh, sorry i dropped my little baggie um maybe you you didn't like um pursue certain people or certain events or certain, certain loves or even things at work because you don't think you deserve that uh you deserve it she's saying take it it's yours like it's it's yours take it the gold is yours it's not about gold digging it's about taking it back okay so take back your gold take back your self-respect take back take back the diamonds the riches the crown anything you got to take the bill put it back on your head and uh, fire all the peasants if someone's a peasant fire them okay delete from database the goddess aphrodite has spoken <laughs> i feel like that was a great channeling um obviously i'm translating it in, in, into blue angel speak but uh those are those were the feelings that i was getting um a lot of self-value is important here, Libra. You can have whoever you want, whatever you want. The question is, uh, why are you wishing for peasants? Uh, why is that on your wish list? You should be wishing higher. Uh, always, always, and value yourself because if the goddess is here speaking to you, uh, you cannot denigrate yourself by disrespecting yourself because that way you're disrespecting the goddess. Uh, this is what I have for you today, my darling Libra. Um, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. I'm just going to get a little bit uncomfortably close now just to turn off the video. Uh, let me know if this is your story, baby. Uh, also, if you uh, vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, like the video if you'd like to get a personal reading with me. All the information is down below. Uh, I'll see you next time, my darling. Take care of yourself. Uh, may the angels protect you and the goddess of love bless you.